Hello, this is Schedulitics. Welcome to today's session. Do you want a new touch to how you present your bar charts? Kindly watch this video to the end. This brief video, we are going to see how we can generate a, a bar chart that looks similar to what we are seeing on our screen. Without wasting much time, let's proceed with how we can generate this using GraphPad Prism. So first of all, we need to establish the various frequencies and percentages of the various parameters that we are going to use to plot our bar charts. In this case, diabetes, obesity, and blood pressure. You can use any variable that is suitable in your case. So now we are going to copy all these variables and send to GraphPad Prism in order to start. All right, so when you launch your GraphPad Prism, you click on Contingency and then you create. Now you have an interface where you can paste your values. So here we are going to copy the values in Excel and paste here one after the other in order to generate our tables. All right, so we'll right click and then we paste our data. Good. So you realize that the frequency of those who are diabetic and not diabetic are presented. Now we'll click on this um, data, data one, and then it gives us possible ways in which we can draw a bar chart. So we'll select this one and click on OK. Now we want to change this to prevalence of type 2 diabetes and then we delete this and then we type frequency here. Good. Now we want the bar chart not to be this black and so we want to change its format. So what we're going to do is I will write, we double click, we double click on the, on the chart, and then it opens this drop down menu where we can choose the various formats in which we want it to be presented. So this one, we change this to white, and then we select this one, and then we maintain the parting color and then the border color. And then we click on apply and then OK. Boom. Our changes has been effected. Now we want to uh, now enter the frequency and its percentage accordingly. So this one is seven into bracket 7.1%. So we input that here and then we shift it to the right side of it so as it can fit in the middle. Now you control C, you copy, you paste, and then you drag this to the top here. And the frequency and percentage for this is 92, and the percentage is 92.99%. Good. So we have a uh, our bar chart and their various frequency and percentage presented on the chart. Now, in order for us to maintain this format of the of the chart, of the bar chart, and not to waste our time going through the same process, what we'll do is that we come here and then we we'll right click and then we'll duplicate family. Now, what that, what this does is that it saves you time for, for redoing what we have done with regard to this chart. And so when we come to the data, we can just edit or input new values here, and then it generates our, our, our bar chart for us. So we are going to copy from Excel, and then we'll paste here, and then we'll see how it, it works. All right, so we'll right click, and then we'll paste data, and then we'll get back here, and you see that the chart has changed because new parameters have been added. So we come here and then we change this one to, let's say, 12 times new Roman. And then we bring it down a bit. And then the frequency for this is 2. And then the percentage is 2.0. 2 We are going to do that for all the charts. 
all the bars so that they all have values ahead of them. So I'll pause the video here and then we'll, we'll return with the various charts. And then we'll continue from there in how to generate the layout. All right, so we have succeeded in generating the, the chart for hypertension as well. And then that's for obesity. But you realize that you realize that the values here seems to be overriding each other. Now, in order to change that to we'll right click, we'll check this and make sure that this box here appears. And then we'll right click on it and then change the direction of the label and make it angled. Now, now it's more visible for us to see. So we'll go to the hypertension one and repeat the same procedure. And then we have our various this one available. Now, you realize that um, these charts are presented individually, but for us to be able to put it in a framework or a layout so as to have them appear side by side as we saw in the um, as we saw in the as we saw in the beginning, we want to select our layout and then we move this slowly so we click on it and hold and drag and drop all right so we have been able to successfully generate our layout and we have been able to uh, get our charts for side by side so when we compare this to what we saw from the beginning you realize that there are no differences good so basically this is how to generate a bar chart for your descriptive analysis using graphpad prism we hope you find this video very useful we encourage you to like the video we encourage you to subscribe to all your friends who may need assistance in order to generate descriptive plots like what we have just done until we meet again, it's a bye.